Welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here. Today is a very special episode. We took a road trip today and we are at a local organization called Ranch Hope. And I'm here with Roger, who is going to talk to us a little bit about what we're doing here today. But basically, uh, we're going to be doing some gardening, some prepping for the garden. But I'd like to ask Roger a few questions about the ranch and the program that we're working with. How are you, Roger? How's it going, Dad? You all right? Excellent. <laughs> Thank really, you. Really, really appreciate being here. So tell me, your, your role here at the ranch is? So uh, I'm currently the director of youth and adult ministries. Uh, an easier way of saying that is uh, I serve as the chaplain here uh, to the organization. And the ranch is a 130 acre property, I believe. Yeah, close to that, yep. And it was founded in 1964, I think was the first uh, student who came to the ranch. Correct. I know that the ranch started uh, with a, uh, the dream of a local United Methodist minister and his wife. They had the mission and the vision for the ranch to help uh, youth that had come from uh, difficult situations. And uh, the ranch, again, has grown to 130 acres, several cottages on the ranch, and great programs. And uh, all started from a vision and a $20 donation. So tell us about your garden that we're working on today. I see that we've got the sign here in the background. Yeah, so Welcome to our garden. I imagine that's not because you don't know how to spell R, right? So That's it. So, uh, so our goal is to love each other as God's loved us. And uh, so we love each other with a reclaiming, a redeeming, a renewing, and a restoring love. I, I see some of these guys shaking their heads over here. Uh, we talk, we hear those R's a lot, but so this is our garden. Um, it's a community garden. Um, and we started it approximately four years ago with the help of uh, Stephen Garrison, um, a gentleman who uh, has volunteered a lot of time to make sure that things actually grow here in the garden. And uh, so we're looking to expand this, this year. Uh, we have about a hundred foot by a hundred foot uh, space here um, where we plant uh, a bunch of different things. That, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big uh, garden. So the ranch is a, it's a faith-based organization. And I know that the core mission is if you have the ability to help somebody else, you should do that. And that's the, really that's the whole premise of humanity when you think about it. You and, know, we're here to help each other. So I understand that the ranch bought a new tractor. I don't know if you're familiar with what the tractor is. It's a, I think well, it's a Kubota. It is a Kubota. And, um, we are waiting for some of the attachments to come in. Right. So uh, your help today with your tiller is um, just a, a blessing. So the guys are showing it off back there. My uh, that's my yeah. B twenty six zero one. And you ordered. I think I heard you ordered like a seventy two inch tiller for Correct. your tractor. So yeah. it's a bigger mm -hmm. tractor. Mine's a sixty inch. Uh, but anyway, I heard. I was talking to uh, uh, another person near the ranch and heard that they had ordered this equipment. That it was delayed, like many things are at this time. And I Great. said, well, I have a tiller. Let me come out and just till up the space. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, some of these guys, they're here to watch, to help out. They've already been out in the garden kind of prepping it because the one thing we forgot to do is mow it first. So they've been out there manually weeding to get some of these high weeds knocked down uh, so that we can till it without getting the tines all clogged up. All right, we're going to start tilling and um, see how things go. So this garden has been extended from last year they've added about 60 feet to it. So this part's been already mowed, so I'm gonna start tilling this area. And the guys are over there clearing out the tall grass so we can till that one next. For one of the first times on any of my videos, I have a camera operator. One of our students here, who unfortunately we didn't get the release sign to be on camera, is gonna be behind the camera. So I'm really happy to have your help with this. And he's gonna shoot some of me running the tractor back and forth and getting some Nice close-ups and wide shots and things like that. So we have a cameraman.
Now here's something interesting I noticed. I was tilling and I noticed that the rototiller was bouncing around a lot, making a lot more racket than usual. Now when I hooked this up this morning, I adjusted this top link, this turnbuckle here, tighten it up. I used a pair of channel locks to tighten this lock nut against it, but that thing still vibrated loose. And you can see this rototiller is now leaning way back. So I don't know how much further I could have gone until this top link would have actually fallen apart. So I need to tighten that back up, get everything back level again, and then tighten that lock nut a lot more. So this is interesting. This is the area of the plot that had been gardened for several years in the past. And just after a couple passes, it's really nice and powdery. The section that is new, that has not been cultivated before, is really clumpy and needs to be gone over several times. So once you establish your garden and you hit it every year, it'll stay in pretty good condition where the soil is not packed as tight. So just an interesting difference between the established garden, and the new garden section. I had to take a break from tilling just to show you what these guys are doing. They are doing a great work day here today, and they've got this really neat project that's going on behind me, and what they're doing is taking apart these old gymnasium lights. We're trying to take apart the lights and make them into a flower pot. So you're taking all the components out of the light, mm -hmm. and you're gonna use the covers, I guess, yeah. As a as a planter, yeah. we're gonna see if we're we can maybe make a self-watering like planter with these uh, with the keys here. We don't know what we're doing. We're gonna get creative with it. That's the ultimate upcycle. repurposing. Yeah, upcycle. So. Jason and Salim are in here in the, in the garden shed, and you guys are, we're doing more than gardening. You guys are cleaning up the whole shed today. It looks like you emptied everything out. Yeah. And what are you working on right now? Finding ways to hang up the tools. Okay, so you're keeping your tools in order. Yeah. And Salim, you're gonna hold the nail while Jason hits it? Yep. Is that a good idea? Yep. <laughs> For me it is. You're a brave man. Teamwork. Whoa. I think it's good. I would never hold a nail for anybody. Aiden, you ever been on a tractor before? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, cool. my grandfather had um, something like this when he was younger. Did you and run it? Huh? Did you ever run it? Mm -hmm. He showed me how to do it all. Did he? Nice. Why don't you hop up there? That. Look, there's a handle here. So, this is your throttle. Mm -hmm. Once the tractor started, you know, you rev it up with that. Yeah. We're going to raise the PTO up, or the, uh, look at me, not even knowing what it's called, the three-point hitch. We're going to raise it up because that raises up the rototiller in the back. And then this tractor is very simple. It doesn't have gears like some of the older tractors have. Yeah. It's got what's called hydrostatic, and you press the pedal forward to go forward, mm -hmm. and you step on the back part with your heel oh. to go backward, so forward and backward. Well, that's kind of cool. We'll be in low gear, and we're going to run the loader. Do like a little loader thing. Did you, did you ever run one of those, front end loader on your? Mm -mm. Okay. So the loader has basically four directions. You've got up and down, and then the bucket Oh, curls yeah, back and, tur and curls, right? Mm -hmm. Curl and tilt. So we'll do a little bit of that. We got our 
camera guy back there working for us. So you want to get a nice shot of the tractor with the front end loader as well. We're going to start the tractor up. If you pull it back nice and easy, see how it raises up? Now ease it back to the middle, and that's what lowers it down. Now leave it right there, and now ease, like gently pull it toward me, and that curls it back, and then you gently push it away, that dumps it out. Yeah. Like that. All right, so curl it back. Keep coming back, yep, all the way back. And now lower it down gently to about right there, that's good. Everything's safe here. Let me step away. You're gonna step on that pedal real gentle, and the more you push it, the faster it goes. And this thing will go like, I'm telling you, it'll go like five miles an hour. I'm telling you, maybe six miles an hour right now. All right, gent gent and you're gonna go over in the grass. So just go forward and around. All right, Raj, I think it was a successful day here today. How do you yes. think, what do you think about the uh, rototilling that we did today? Oh my goodness, I, uh, I appreciate all your help and uh, your tractor here. I think we all appreciate yeah. Mr. Yeah. Ed and his yeah. tractor. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. You guys did a great job, not only operating the tractor at the end of the day, but you cleaned up the tool shed and you were rebuilding those light fixtures to hopefully make some planters out of them. Really creative. Hope, hopefully we can, yes. We're gonna come back, maybe when you're planting or see how things turn out and maybe do a little update if that's good. We'd, we'd love it, thank you. All right. You're a member of our box. Make sure you all subscribe. Yes, that's right, yeah, we are. Subscribe. It's, like that's right. Video. Hey. Comment, like the video, and subscribe. They know it. Yeah. Comment, like the video, subscribe, and- Tune I, in for more content. Tune in for more content. I mean, these guys are naturals. <laughs> yep. I appreciate you being here and I will see you next time.